One of the biggest mistakes that I see new print-on-demand sellers making is overthinking their designs. And when you overthink your designs, a lot of times you'll do too many different fonts, too many different colors, and you'll end up making something that might look good on your computer or your phone, but isn't actually a great t-shirt design. One thing that you'll notice once you've been selling print on demand for a little while is that really most of the time, the most simple designs sell best. So in today's video, I'll go over some of my favorite fonts for print on demand. So that way you can spend less time picking the perfect font and more time just making your designs and making money. If you're new here though, my name is Cassie Johnson and welcome to my channel. Here I teach everything print on demand plus Etsy. I've sold over $550,000 in t-shirts in just over two years since I started doing print on demand. And most of my designs are super, super simple. So I'll go over this list of simple, easy to read fonts that you can use in your designs and I'll also put them in, in different categories of when I would actually use these fonts. The first fonts I'll show you will be for funny or sarcastic shirts that are mostly just text-based only. People love fonts like this and shirts like this because people love to think they're hilarious or buy hilarious gifts for loved ones. So starting with this font first, this is a typewriter font. It's called Remington Weather Font. And this one does have that typewriter feel. And this is perfect for a text only shirt that says something funny or sarcastic. All of the fonts from today's video are going to be from creativefabrica.com. This is a subscription service that you can get for $19 per month. It has over 90,000 different fonts you can download and over 4 million different graphics that you can use for your print on demand business. I do have a link in my description for a $1 trial for your first month. So definitely check them out if you have not yet. They're my favorite resource for my print on demand designs and graphics. And you can use these in any design software that you're using, whether that be Photoshop, Canva, or GoDaddy Studio. The second font I'll show you for funny and sarcastic designs is this paper cutout font. This is a really popular font to do every other letter a different color. And you can use this for tons of different niches like professions, like teachers, bachelorette parties, kids shirts, but especially these funny and sarcastic ones. This font works really, really well for because it doesn't have the cutout for the A, the B, the D, and so on. And people really love fonts like this. That's just fun and playful. The next fonts I'll show you are going to be the retro fonts. If you've not noticed that yet, this year in 2022, retro 70s, 80s type fonts have been all the rage, and these will be great for any niche that you sell in. Giving a retro feel with a retro font and retro graphics will be sure to get you more sales this year since that's what a lot of customers are looking for. So the first retro font I'll recommend is the Fabulous Party font. This one definitely has a fun kind of groovy, little interesting style to it. And you can see, you can do the fun wave font that's really popular these days. Add in little stars like this to your designs with just a few words over and over again. And you have a great design on your hands without having to use any graphics. But if you add some little vintage flowers or anything to it, you can really make some gorgeous designs for your t-shirts with this font. We also have this one for the next retro font that's called Rambers Nostalgic Retro Font. So this is a great one that has these kind of fun, funky lines to it. Definitely a really nice retro feel. And this is another one that if you do every other letter in a vintage color, sells very, very well on shirts. You'll see this font a lot in the birthday niche where people say, you know, vintage 1992 for a 30th birthday party shirt. This is one of the very popular fonts for that. You can use this in any niche though, and it does combine really well with a nice standard font as well. 
The third retro font I'll recommend is Retro Groovy. This one is again a really great one for those wavy type designs or do something simple just like this where you make every other letter a different color. You can add a shadow to it like they did here in this picture and add some flowers and give it that really popular retro style that people are looking for this year. The next section of fonts is going to be good everyday fonts that you can use on any t-shirt niche. You want to make sure that again your fonts are easy to read especially from the tiny thumbnail because most people come to Etsy and they already have an idea of what they're looking for. So they type that in the search results and they look through all the thumbnails until they find one they like and then click on it. So if you don't make sure that your thumbnail is easy to read, gets your point across, and catches their attention with a nice bold font, then they might never click on you in the first place. So I've picked a few that I think are really great bold fonts that will help catch people's attention when they're looking at your listings in the search results. This first one is a college type font. So this type of font sells really well when you do the Harvard type setup, where you do these college type fonts curved across the chest. That is a super popular design style. And you can have that be one word that says something like teacher, or you can set up whole designs like this and make it almost look like a logo for any niche that you design in. So this is a great font to download. This next one, Vancouver font, is a really great, simple, easy to read one in all capitals. It does have a really nice lowercase version as well, but this one I really mainly use for the all capitals version, and this is perfect for those text-only designs. If you haven't already, one good method of designing is to find a funny saying for your t-shirts and have it in just a text-based design, it's just words on the shirt, like let's say first grade teacher and then if that one sells you know that's a good niche to move forward in and you can make some with colored fonts or with graphics as well but at least you got a quick easy design out there with a bold simple easy to read design this next one here is Clementina font. So this one kind of has that handwritten style to it where their letters aren't quite perfect. This is a really fun one that gives almost a Ray Dunn style, if you're familiar with that from TJ Maxx. But this is a really, really cute one, especially for Mother's Day or women's shirts. You can mix it with a cursive, but just really nice, simple, but still really easy to read font. The next everyday use font is the Edmund font. This is one of my favorite rustic fonts. So it already has a distressed look to it. So again, you can make these really cool, almost logo looking fonts with your t-shirt design with using just text or small little graphics. Designs like these sell really well. So if you're making a t-shirt and you can kind of almost make it look like a logo, you'll get a lot more sales with it. And so this is one that I really recommend if you're looking for a distressed font, go ahead and download Edmund font. Then I've got a really nice cursive for you because using cursive on shirts can be almost a negative sometimes if it's not simple and easy to read. So this rustic pantry font is actually a duo. So you get both of these fonts that you see in this picture and they are a great combination for any text-based designs. So this is a really gorgeous setup that you can mix these fonts together and make some really fun text-based designs that are still really easy to read and catch people's attention. Another really great cursive is this Limon Mint. This is a really nice bold cursive that you can make designs that look like this with. This will be really perfect for nice, big, bold, easy to read, fun designs. The next category is a dictionary font. So this one is called Book Mania, and this one is going to be a perfect one to use if you've ever wanted to do those fake definition shirts. Those are huge, huge sellers in lots of different niches. So essentially you just take a definition like mom, and instead of putting the real definition from the dictionary, you make up some funny version for yourself, and then you put that on a shirt that people can buy their mom for Mother's Day. But you can do these funny definition shirts for any kind of hobby or any kind of profession as well and they make great gifts. 
The next category of fonts I have for you is Western fonts. If you haven't started making Western themed shirts yet this year, this is your sign. They have been selling incredibly well. So anything that kind of has this rustic Western style to it has been super popular, especially in the bachelorette niche. This one here, the Monday font, is a really nice, big, bold Western font that you can use. It has these really fun accents to it, so this one would be a perfect addition if you're wanting to make any Wild West or Western designs. The next Western font is Road Rage font. So this one again has some other fun accents to it, like these little pieces that stick off the side of each letter and have a really fun kind of distressed look to them that you can use in any biker designs or any Western designs as well. Lastly, we have the Western Carlo font. This one is a little bit of a thinner, kind of fun, playful font. This will be a perfect one, again, for text-based only shirts, or you could do something really similar to this, add a funny Western saying, add some little designs next to it, and you'd have a great Western design on your hands. I'm making this video in July of 2022, so I wanted to also share some fun Halloween fonts if you are getting ready to start designing for the holidays coming up here. The first one I have is the Sensation font. This one is a little bit spooky looking, has a little bit of an uneasy vibe to it, but it's not over the top. This one would be perfect to use for some of your Halloween designs this year. The next one is a much more obvious Halloween font. This one is Vampire Zone and has a really fun kind of interesting look to the font that you can again use on all of your Halloween designs for this season to make lots of great text and graphic shirts together. The last Halloween font is Spooky Man. So this again is a nice, bold, easy to read, fun and spooky font for your Halloween t-shirts. Lastly, I have the kids fonts for you if you do any children's shirts. The first font I have for you is Dino Sauce font. So this actually has cutouts of little dinosaurs already in the letters, and this would be a very fun font to use on some kids' shirts today. Another great kids font would be the Island Sands font. So this one is a funny kind of weird font. It's all different sizes, kind of looks handwritten almost by a child. So this would be a really fun font to use on kids shirts. The last font today is the Morris Junior font. This is a really fun, playful retro font, so you can still get in on that retro style that's really popular this year, but put some fun, silly graphics with it to make it a kid's shirt or a kid's shirt and mom matching shirts would be great in this font. I hope these fonts gave you some great ideas of easy to read, simple designs that you can make for your store today. And if you're not sure if you're on the right track yet with your designs, feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me or a private shop review. I do have the links to both of those down in my description, but I really hope this video was helpful to you. I appreciate all of you have stayed all the way until the end. And if you did get value from this video, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to my channel so you can see more videos like this in the future. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you in the next one.